What people do in this world to harm their relatives is quite amazing to me. What I'm talking about is the truth of people's rights to their own individual bodies. When a molester tried to molest me, I said no. I walked away every single time, but community members decided to inform the molester where I was because his lies are so incredible that he just wants to screw a family member so he has more inheritance. My attitude about him is that he could never show up the fuck on time in life. He never did one fucking thing right in my life, and I am not related to him anymore. Which means he's a stranger molesting someone and trying to murder someone's life. His game is visible to God, but God didn't say yes to the game. But too many people decided to participate in a city molestation and a city mutilation, and they are people who work in your community who serve people who pay them to do so. You see, if you're a worker in a restaurant and you participate in tainting food at the request or bequest of someone in a person's family or the police force, you have put yourself at lawful risk. When a woman told me she cared for me, she lied about the whole thing. She has now got a fucked face because someone convinced her to put collagen in her face. The audio files of the world that play through different companies that are coming in from the northern part of our states <clears throat> put your finances at risk but when there are families that attack a person's life with their thinking that they're in charge of their life and deciding for their life we have real problems today when a community doesn't like a certain type that's a part of their fucking advertising they better pay attention because god will kill them with covid the lord above all is in covid and if you don't think so, look throughout the ages of history where God comes through and cleans house with plagues and poxes on houses who think they're in charge of other people. When we talk today, we recognize we have people in administration who lie on a regular basis. It is a part of the political world, it is a part of the business world to stretch truths or avoid giving all the details because we have stepped away from God. We have stepped away from the Lord as a society and very few people wake in the morning and thank God that they're alive. I might be included in that because of how Christians in an original family or family of origin have abused my physical being, have lied about the rights to add chemistry to my life that is not correct for my soul or my being. The headaches that I receive now because of some shitbag pretending to be a doctor in this community or a doctor in a previous community are off charts. The illness that they are putting in people is unbelievable today and they're killing a lot of Americans. They are also going after the illegals in an appropriate way. We have laws in America that protect our livelihood, that protect our birth certificates, and that protect them from total strangers or even people in our families. All our physical being belongs to the Lord and us individually. All our documentation for our legal adult life belongs to us individually. But there are bitches and bastards who participate in attacking lives, trying to take over those things by drugging people, molesting them, shaving them, raping them, trying to impregnate them, and fucking them royally in the world. If you participated in that, I promise you, God will give you the COVID strain, and whether you can get out of it or not, every time you touch another human being, according to the popular information, the publicity that's out there, you may be passing along COVID. I know there are men and women who have COVID who probably haven't told their upcoming girlfriends or nuptials that they have it. What I get most obscenely upset about when I walk through the community these days is watching people with their dogs not knowing how to do the proper training of them using the wrong length of leashes with dogs that really need a strong arm or a strong leash and the other people who won't even allow a dog to sniff a tree which is a part of a dog's life because they're too fucking busy. Then what's the point of a dog? But when you treat a human being as if they're your plaything when you treat a human being as if you're going to be in control of them, when you don't have one lawful fucking right to them, you better believe that they are going to be pissed off. You better believe that they're going to be raging. 
I am currently in a medical situation because the people who captivated and contained me without truthful, lawful consent on an issue that was supposed to be thrown out with a black fucking bitch of a mental health lawyer who just fucked my life and will die of COVID very soon because of God's anger towards her life. Let me tell you, we don't do this to women, we don't do this to men, but you motherfuckers think that God makes nothing. You bastard thinks that it's something to do with the family that's done something. You shitbag Muslims think you're going to teach us a lesson. You blacks want to walk around and look at our possessions as if you have some right to put your hands in our pants, in our pockets, in our packages because somebody died and left you, Lord. When the fuck did Jesus Christ do that? I have never in my life hated any person of color, but of these days, because of what I've experienced in this little fucking town that is so back asswards in the world, I am livid, I am pissed off, and I have a right to be angry. I came into this town with a priest beard, my own making, my own right to do so, my own face, and some little shitbag keeps cutting my beard, some little bitch of the force keeps drawing near, some little dyke shitbag lesbian thinks she is a fucking lord in my life who works as a meter maid, and let me tell you, God will kill every fucking one of you with COVID thinking you're going to lord over any human being in this world. Last night, a security officer from the Dean tried to walk across the street at me while he is on his fucking job to palm me some dollars so he could lie about my life. I refuse to do that. It doesn't matter what you think of me. What matters to me is what the Lord thinks of me. But I had to do a lot of sitting yesterday because siblings have so fucked my medical rights that I am literally now have three strokes and a heart attack. And yesterday, God was saying, you really need to sit down. You are on the edge of one. But I am never going to fucking talk to one of these little shitbag places from the Carl or the goddamn OSF here. I don't have to. I am in charge of me. You are in charge of you. And if you listen to my podcast, who the fuck gave you the right to? Who the hell gave you my information? What little bastard from an egg shop thought he'd fuck my life over because he was running around during a time of COVID with their fucking food truck violating the law? How many of these motherfucking buildings have gone up during the time of COVID on this campus when they weren't supposed to be doing that at all? We now have ridiculous looking buildings with not the proper structures or safety in their windows and let me fucking tell you they've been hiring the fucking Hispanics all over town. Prove those people are here lawfully because most American citizens, even my late Japanese spouse, knew that she should be speaking English. We spoke our foreign languages, our bilingual capabilities in our home or when we were going shopping, but we don't do it as a populist group moving around town working. But that's the difference between a supreme culture and an inferior one. A supreme culture teaches their entire nation to speak English even if it's not perfectly done. A foolish culture decides they're going to move into a community, come through lying, stealing, cheating us out of our property. Those people at campus management property, campus property management, will face hell from God. They stole things, they stole works that God wanted out in the community so the young people started to pay attention to their life. But in life as an evangelical pastor of the Lord's house, of the old ways of God, of the Christian house, not at all, of the pagan house that teaches people how to use the Holy Ghost to stay safe in life, you fuckers in the Catholic community are going to go home with COVID. You are lucky you haven't lost your fucking priest house yet. But when a president lies about what he understands about God, when he doesn't do the right thing, when he thinks he's Lord of all, and he does things at the whim of his wife, he deserves to die of COVID. Anyone who gives himself COVID in the testing of COVID, isn't that the same as what they've done? Aren't they foolish about what they've done? We don't always take a flu shot because of the very reason that the flu shot often takes us and puts us undone. You see, you have the right to choose what you put in your body, but according to some groups, some Christian organizations, some Catholic groups, some bitches across the land who con concede that they have the right to choose who they want to love, but won't let anybody else do the same about their life, literally lie to themselves before the Lord. 